Hi, this is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle, and today we're going to work on a reel that Bob sent me. Now, Bob actually sent me three reels. And they're all very similar, but they're different. So we'll talk a little bit about them, and then we're going to work on the Ocean City 113. So Bob uh, had a series of older reels, uh, probably from the 60s and the 70s, and on the first blush, they all look the same. You have a pen, uh, Long Beach 60, you have a pen Long Beach 66 and you have an Ocean City 113 and quite honestly of all of them I like the, the 113 uh, for a lot of reasons so they have often been mistaken a lot of times on eBay you'll see an Ocean City reel where they will say pen it's not a pen reel it's Ocean City and uh, as an aside uh, the founder of pen Otto Hens uh, he, he worked for Ocean City when he came to Philadelphia from uh, Germany and uh, in 1932 he left to form the, uh, the Penn Fishing Tackle Manufacturing Company and some of his earliest reels were the Long Beaches. He had the Long Beach and uh, I think in 1936 he did the, uh, the Penn Senator and those reels are with us today. So why are they the same but different? So if you look at the Long Beach versus the 113, actually if you had the 65 it would almost match up perfectly with it, but the internals are different. We'll show you those. If you uh, think that the 60 and the 66 are the same reels, you would be mistaken. On the 66 actually, this reel is the Penn Senator 4.0 without the metal trim rings. So if you're ordering parts, the parts for the 60 will not fit the 66, but if you were looking for parts for this one, you'd find surprisingly that the 66, the 67, and the 68, which is all a matter of frame, has the same gearing uh, setups and has the same um, drag washers in that as the Penn Senator 4.0. Just no uh, no metal side plate. So just something to note if you're looking for a heavy duty reel and you can still find them. But onward, let's do the uh, uh, the Ocean City today. This one turns nice, free and easy, which uh, is a wonderful thing. Unfortunately, it needs drags. And uh, Bob asked me to uh, make sure he can take this one fishing again. Apparently he's found it uh, after quite a bit of idle time. And uh, he wants to put it back out there and there's no reason why he can't. Uh, you can tell that it needs drags because there's no spacing between the ferrule. Uh, all that, when, uh, when you've pressed down the drags and you've run out of space, that simply means that all you're doing with the star adjuster is you're running up against the ferrule, making the reel difficult to turn and not engaging the drag. So I can hold that spool here and you'll see I can turn the, the handle, which shouldn't be. And fortunately for Bob, the Pen 60 <laughs> Long Beach drags fit the 113 Ocean City reel. I don't know if that's coincidence in design or if that's just convenience, but regardless, uh, we can use those. And I went ahead and I got three new drag washers for that. So let's show you how to do that, and then when I take it off, we'll show you the internal compare. So I love Ocean City and the fact that many of their reels, they put the handle wrench right on the handle. Talk about a design, and all you do is flip it, and you can uh, break that screw. And while we're doing this, you'll notice I'm wearing a protective glove on my hand. And right now, you'll notice that I'm also using a parts tray to put all the pieces and parts that I take off in there. Once you do that, you can take the handle uh, wrench and put that in there, take the handle off. You'll notice that the uh, gear sleeve on this is different from a pen gear sleeve. And when we get inside, you'll notice that the internals are different too. So, so it wasn't a case where uh, Otto uh, stole a design. Now he came out with a completely different design uh, when he moved to uh, another section of Philadelphia. I guess he was on North Third Street, if I remember exactly. But uh, both uh, companies continued to thrive. Ocean City, and I believe it was the late 60s, was sold out a couple of times. One of the uh, eventual buyers of it was um, True Temper, and then over time uh, they went out of business, so uh, they stopped making the reels. And at that point in time, uh, parts disappeared, you couldn't get them, and that's the problem with an Ocean City today, uh, no replacement parts. I mean, you can still get them either through donor reels, there were a lot of these reels made, 
or you can get them through uh, eBay perhaps with somebody that may have broken down a reel and is selling the various pieces and parts out. Um, then just uh, watch my videos because it's hard to find somebody today who's worked on these and knows the reels themselves. So one more side plate screw. I am noticing just like the pens that the uh, screws that go into the reel seat are shorter than the screws that go into the reel post uh, and that there's three <coughs> reel seat screws so remember that when you go to reinstall the three shorter ones belong below. Okay so here's the setup on the Ocean City. First and foremost we have a free spool release that pulls out to pull in here. That's different from the pen. The pen goes side to side. Uh, the other funny thing about this one is I remember somebody brought me in a reel that broke this off and I asked him how come he broke it off or how did it break off. He said well the reel was stuck and uh, I actually pushed it too hard and broke it. Well, I can't imagine using physical strength to do that. But he just simply thought that like a pen, the free spool release was front to back instead of in and out. Broke the reel. Okay, so on this one then, you'll see there's a different setup here in terms of that. Let's put them side by side. I grabbed this one. This is the Ocean City. This is the, uh, I'm sorry, this is the Ocean City. This is the Penn Long Beach. And you can tell for the most part it is a completely different design. And we're just going to set this aside for now. But uh, just a point of note uh, that the drag washers from that 60 will fit to 113. I believe it also fits to 112 and it probably fits the Bay City as well. Uh, so if you can't find the drags, don't be afraid to order the, uh, the other ones. Okay, so we're going to take the inside apart now. We'll show you how that works. And then we'll, uh, we'll get to business here of replacing these drags, tuning up this reel, and getting these three reels back to Bob. So we're going to take the screw out of the, uh, the jack here. That screw connects to the throw on the back side, so we want to make sure that we have that one to take it off. That jack then rests on two screws on each side of, of the side plate there. Up comes the yoke and a carrier, spool gear, two big springs, and you'll notice the orientation on this, the, the two uh, posts here. These ride in the post, you can see it without the spring, and in order to make that ride properly you're going to have to make sure, hopefully on a camera angle we can see this, that the indentations on these two pieces face inward. If you don't do that, then uh, you're going to be in trouble and unable to reinstall this uh, correctly. Okay, all of that goes in there. Now, normally there's Ocean Cities out there that have the um, anti-reverse dog on the other side of this bridge with a spring that very much operates like a pen jig master. You don't have to pull the, uh, the spring. It's not going to shoot at you. Uh, you set the, uh, the dog in place before you reinstall, and it's a simple process. In this case, there is a dog and a spring that will shoot if you're not careful. And in order to reinstall that, you must remove, the uh, looking at it this way, the left side uh, hold down. So that's in the top piece here. So we're going to take that one out. We don't have to take the other side out, but remember what I said about the orientation. That's important when we go to reinstall. And one of the best things to do with this one, when you pull that, is just put that screw right back in there. You got enough screws in that bucket. This one will just remind you that's where it goes. All right, you don't have to touch the other screw because that's only holding this post in. You want to touch the two below. You want to remove them. And you want to cup your hand behind the reel because, as I mentioned, there's a screw there for the anti-reverse dog. And you don't want that uh, spring to shoot out. Okay, you know you've disconnected this when the assembly has fallen through. Be gentle as you pull it out. And this is the spring we were looking for, for the anti-reverse dog. Don't lose it. As I mentioned, parts are not available. This one is probably precious. Okay. Once we do that then, we put the pieces in there and here we are with the assembly. So the anti-reverse dog goes into the bucket. 
here's our ferrule and at this point this looks very much like a pen. Now we can pull the main gear sleeve just to show you how to do that. This has got the same setup as a pen. And again, Ocean City came first. So uh, I'm sure there were, there were practices there that uh, Otto related to and said, you know what, I don't need to change that. And I guess it wasn't patented or anything, didn't matter. It's kind of allowed to do that, right? And I guess uh, the gear sleeve uh, was one of those. I'm just pushing that pin through now. You need a little pin, centering pin. You need some space behind it. I was just hammering it into the, the wood. You can see how the pin comes in. And once you clear that little groove there, uh, you're good to go. All right, so I just take a, a cotton swab and I just kind of push it through, making sure that there's no junk or accumulation in there that uh, would slow the reel. We have a little bit of accumulated dried grease on this. That was the problem with uh, most of the reels that Bob sent me. They, uh, they've been sitting for a while and the grease all dried, so we're gonna clean that up. And that's what happens when you store reels. It's a fault, nobody's fault, it just is. Then I'm going to, uh, maybe it's a sacrilegious, I know I'm gonna use pen grease on an Ocean City reel, but I guess all the way back in the day, uh, probably we're getting their lubricants from the same guy anyway. All right, we install the gear sleeve then, tap down on that pin. We're good there. Now we got the war, worn drag washers here. So you want to take these out in the sequence that uh, you find them. Yeah, and we can see this is frozen right here. There's actually two washers and a, and a uh, drag washer between them. And that's one of the reasons why you're uh, we're not getting the actually we're not frozen it's just a, a okay then we want to pull so what we have then is we have a broken drag washer that's what the problem has been and we can simply grab our drag grease double this washer up You want to take the, the gear, uh, the Cal's Universal Dry Grease, lube that up, set the washer in place. We're going to double this washer because that was the thickness of the other one. And then we can clean off the metal here. Using steel wool, just polishing it right up. Think of that. This reel is probably 40 or 50 years old, and that brass just shines right up. I'm assuming it's brass. Whatever it is, it's a whole lot better than the quality you find in some reels today. Okay, back on to the stack then. Back on with the top. Back on with the ferrule. Alrighty, so that then sets up the um, the reinstall. We want to grab the uh, side plate. We're going to go in and install this part first, just the opposite of what we took. And remember, we had to take this piece out here in order to get the anti-reverse dog. We already have the side plate screw in here. You're looking for the piece of the side plate that has the indentation in it that's going to hold the spring. And what we're going to do here is we're going to put this in halfway. We'll grab the anti-reverse dog. Just notice we have the collar washer. Now we're good. And looking for the that's another advantage of, of working with a parts basket. You can find you can find the pieces and parts if you left any behind. Okay, so with that then, 
going to go ahead and put this back in. Oops, I got it upside down, of course. I'm going to put the anti-reverse dog here with the point up. You want to make sure that it's intersecting with the gear sleeve in the back. And then once you can get that intersected, as you can see, it's, it's sitting on the sleeve. It's almost completed in the rotation. Then you want to take that piece with the hard point out. You want to slide that into the holder. Compress that back spring. And it is a spring. So make sure that as you're working with this, that uh, you, you deal with that carefully. And then we can complete the rotation here. You complete the rotation, make sure that the screw is coming through that post there. And then just give it a couple of turns to make sure it grabs before you go over to do the other one. And these are bigger screws than the top, so you don't really have to worry. You can't, uh, can't put them in the wrong place. Once you get the other side tight, you can come back tighten this side. Give it a turn to make sure it's, it's doing what it should be and that the anti-reverse is working, which it is. Now we'll come back and rebuild the rest of this thing. So we got to put the carrier in first. That was the one where we put the screw on. Now, this one actually has a little taper in the back that ensures that you put it that way. There's other Ocean Cities that you're working on that do not have that. So in some regards that's a better deal here. Alright, we put that back on. I'm going to put the furl over here now. Now we got these two really hulking springs. When you first put them on it almost looks like they don't belong on there since they're so big. And we got we're going to do a couple of things here in a row, making this kind of interesting. Set that down for a moment. Make sure we grease the carrier, the yoke, on this so that it rides smoothly. And the carrier goes on. And then with this one, important to note that the carrier faces out and the spool gear inserts, and that's the way it goes. And if you try and put it on backwards, you're going to have some. Some difficulty to say the least. This is where you kind of need some coordination and I'm not necessarily the best one in this place to go do that, but we're, we're going to try. There we go. So we, I've got this pressed down now. I'm going to hold that. I'm going to take the two springs that go in the under the, the top piece of the jack. I'm going to take the spool release. And this is different from the way that Penn's eccentrics work. I'll roll that up and hold that just like that. We're going to grab the jack, slip that into the carriers, and line that up. And now I'm going to transfer the pressure to this. I'm going to grab the screw. To seat the jack into the release. And you can tighten that screw all the way down. And now we should have an operable. Oh, I'm going to loosen that back up a little bit. There we go. Now we have an operable. 
pre-spool release. Alrighty, so we can go ahead, take the other side off. This is dead dry, as we talked about before. The major issue with this one was lack of, of grease as well as the, uh, the drag washers. I'm just going to put a little bit in there. This spool is in excellent condition and clean. The whole reel is clean. Surprising that it was running the way it did. I'll put a little bit of grease on the spool shaft as well. That's an extra dry washer there for those wondering. And these two points on the spool are what is going to grab the points in here to help drive the, uh, the reel. Okay, with that in set up then, I'm going to go ahead and start installing the side plate screws. Now there's two versions, as I mentioned, there's a long screw and a short screw. Just make sure that you have the short screws going into the reel seat. The best way to do that is just when you're doing here, just lay them out on your desk or your work table or your bench. I've got four long ones, three short ones. And I like to do a balance. So I'm going to do the one on the top here. So the other day I was just asked uh, about mechanical screwdrivers. I don't use them. I'm not a fan of them. Uh, for two reasons. I like working with my hands. But more importantly, the mechanical screwdrivers I have have a heck of a lot of torque in them. And if you're coming on the tightening side of it, you can break things by over torque. So uh, I, if you're going to use them, and there's folks that have to use them for because I don't have the hand strength or whatever. Just leave that screw short. Don't, uh, don't finish it off with that screwdriver. Make the last couple of turns with your hands. Okay, I'm trying to get the... I did side to side. Now I'm trying to get the last... Get the bottom one started here. Sometimes you need a centering pin. I have a bunch of those on here. You just can look through and see where the start hole is. Use a little pressure on the pin. There we go, now we're started. But once I have one kind of in the corners, we can go back and set the others in. Again, long screws go into the crossbars, short screws go into the real seat. So Ocean City made a variety of reels. They made a variety of reels under different names. They made store brands. Now not on the uh, the 113 or the 112 or the the Bay City, as far as I'm aware, but on especially on the smaller Ocean City reels like this one. This is a, a 949. You'd find different store names uh, going in a reel like that. You'd find. Uh, hardware store names, you'd find uh, department store names like Montgomery Wards or I think the Ted Williams line by uh, Sears may have been Ocean City. Um, but uh, they expanded out. Penn, to my knowledge, Penn never did that. Penn just stayed with their own. And uh, they've been quite successful and they're the, they're the company that survives out of all of this. Alrighty, so we've got them all tightened down now. We can pull this out and just give it a quick run. We're a little tight. We want to adjust the side. There we go. That's a nice spin. Alrighty. So now what we're going to do is, is grab the ferrule and the star drag adjuster. And on a reel like this, you want to make sure that you don't cross strip the, the threads. Because again, just like everything else that we've been talking about today, there's nothing easily available, readily available for this unless you have a donor reel. So uh, take your time, be patient, and uh, it'll pay, pay dividends. Look at that reel. 60 years later, 50 years later, whatever it is, this reel is just humming and ready to go. All right, so back to the handle. Handle nut. All right, this one's a handle screw. I was just working on an Abu, and the Abu is an 
handle nut, so I guess I've carried that thinking over. Again, hand threading is best because that way you can feel if you've got a cross strip or not. The wrench, it's a beautiful thing. We want to get this tight, but we also need to, to line it up with the insert here. And sometimes that actually requires backing this off a little bit at the risk of over tightening. There we go. So Bob, it's coming back at you with the pens. Look at that. We got a Tighten down the drags here. Oh, beautiful. Set going forward. Okay, well, this is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, I hope you stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.